Lexical Relations The branch of semantics that deals with the word meaning is called lexical semantics. It is the study of systematic, meaning-related structures of words. Lexical field or semantic field is the organization of related words and expressions into a system, which shows their relationship with one another, e.g. set, angry, sad, happy, depressed, and afraid etc. This set of words is a lexical field. All its words refer to emotional states. The relation of a word with another word is a lexical relation or sense relation or semantic relation. The principal relationships are synonymy, antonymy, hyponymy, metonymy, polysemy, homonymy etc. Synonymy. Synonyms are different words with almost identical or similar meanings. Words that are synonyms are said to be synonymous, and the state of being a synonym is called synonymy. The words car and automobile are synonyms. Similarly, if we talk about a long time or an extended time, long and extended become synonyms. Note that synonyms are defined with respect to certain senses of words. For instance, he expired means the same as he died, yet my passport has expired cannot be replaced by my passport has died. Antonymy. Antonym is a word having a meaning opposite to that of another word. Antonymy is the sense relation that exists between words which are opposite in meaning. For example, male, female, long, short, up, down, proceed, follow etc. Hyponymy. In linguistics, a specific term used to designate a member of a class. For instance, oak is a hyponym of tree, and dog is a hyponym of animal. Then scarlet, vermilion, carmine, and crimson are all hyponyms of red, their hyponym, which is, in turn, a hyponym of color. The opposite of a hyponym is a hyponym. Merinomy. The semantic relation that holds between a part and the whole. Cover, page, for example, are merinoms of book. Merinomy is somewhat similar to hyponymy which is the semantic relation of being subordinate or belonging to a lower rank or class. Polysemy. It is the association of one word with two or more distinct meanings. A polyseme is a word or phrase with multiple meanings. Some examples would a piece of a tree plus a geographical area with many trees train a bird plus a type of construction equipment. Present right now plus the current moment plus a gift plus to show or display plus to be physically somewhere. The opposite of polysemy is monosemy. Homonymy. It is the state or quality of a given words having the same spelling and the same sound or pronunciation as another word, but with a different meaning as race, tribe and race, running contest. In other words in linguistics, a homonym is, in the strict sense, one of a group of words that share the same spelling and the same pronunciation but have different meanings. Examples of homonyms are the pair, stock, part of a plant, and stock, follow, harass a person, and the pair, left, past tense of leave, and left, opposite of right, the verb, bear, to carry or endure, and the noun, bear, the name of an animal. Homophony, a phenomenon of two or more words having the same pronunciation but different meaning or spelling. E.g. C, C, new, new, some, some, sun, sun, etc. Metonymy. Metonymy means calling something, not by its true name, but by something associated with it. The use of word crown for the king is an example of metonymy. Grey hair should be respected. Old man, these days I am reading Galib. The poetry of Galib. Collocation. Collocation refers to the tendency for certain words to occur together. A word like clear, for example, can be found with a number of nouns, clear sky, clear conscience, clear idea, clear road. In each term clear has a slightly different meaning because of the word it is qualifying. It is an arrangement or juxtaposition of words or other elements, especially those that commonly co-occur, as dead serious, iron will, green with jealously etc.